Hey guys, hope everyone's having a great day. Uh, just got this in the mail uh, along with a lot of other people. It is officially release day for 2022 Series 1. Uh, picked up a couple jumbo boxes. I have one off camera right now um, that I'm probably going to bust after this video, uh, but I really wanted to get some on camera. Just It's release day. I want to get some first impressions, so uh, definitely going to be a longer video, so bear with me. I like to take my time, but I'll also try to go a little bit quicker than if I was... Uh, Busting it off camera. So I did get jumbo boxes. I definitely prefer the um, variety you get. It's a little bit of everything uh, versus hobby boxes where you're pretty much just chasing the, the short prints and parallels. Um, Alright, so I like to keep this in frame if I can. It's a really nice box with the uh, Shohei on both sides of the plate. Really like it. Um, as you can see, we've got a top loader card. This is a, uh, these are all future stars, so they're rookies from last season. Um, this is Dylan Carlson. I've seen a lot of uh, Joe Adele, Taylor Trammell, a lot of different guys like that. So Carlson's actually probably one of the better ones you can get. Um, of course, we've got two silver packs right on top. Really excited about these. I like to open these first um, just to check and see if there's uh, any thicker cards. If there are, I'll save them for the end. If not, I'll go ahead and open them because I don't want to, you know, end the break on two uh, base silver packs, essentially. Um, so I, I am going to get into those first. If we have a thicky, I'm going to save it. Uh, I've seen a couple autos coming out of them, out of the silver packs. Um, I don't know why I'm taking these out. I guess I don't have to, uh, but I kind of want to. I'm just going to leave them on the desk. Uh, also notice the 87 design on the silver pack cards it makes it really tough to see some of the parallels. Um, orange and gold in particular. Uh, it also affects the color of the parallels on the jerseys that are the, the relic cards that are uh, 1987. Um, so the blacks look, you know, silver in a way, gray. Um, the golds look just brown or bronze kind of. It's, it's very weird. You'll see hopefully if we pull anything like that. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and get rid of the box. Don't really need that. Can't really fit it in frame anyway. Uh, so those are packs. Uh, like I said, I'll open these silver ones first, see if we got anything. Um, these are really clean, really looking for some wanders out of here. Uh, obviously everyone is. Um, let's see, isn't it? And we got a fit card right off the bat, so we'll save that one. Maybe we'll be able to open one now, let's see what we got. Is that another one? Am I crazy? Yeah, let me check this. So that's... It's gotta be one, right? Alright, we're rolling with the two thickies. Wow. Starting off right. Let's get into this. I'm really excited. For this. I've seen a lot of openings today. Um, really cool stuff coming out of here. Uh, they did put everything in the back this year, um, which I, I like for... For my sake, just being able to go straight to the, the stuff you want, not having to pull stuff off the back and bring it to the front. But it definitely does uh, cause these cards to get a little more damaged. They're more susceptible to it, at least. Um, so we'll see how we do with the quality. But uh, from what I've seen, it's not been too bad. So uh, not going to go through this base too much. I'm really just looking for that wander. And then once we get one, maybe uh, we'll just fly through the rest. But Tyler Gilbert threw a no-no in his first Major League start. Really cool there. Um, I'm definitely going to separate these afterwards. I'll usually do that as I'm breaking, but uh, obviously I'm on camera right now, so we'll uh, do that later. A um, couple Mets. Matt Veerling, rookie. The rookie logos are very small this year, if you guys can tell. It's about half the size, maybe. Uh, maybe like 75% of the size, even, of, uh, of last year's rookie logos, the typical ones. So, Jaron Duran, he's going to be a top five rookie in this set. Very cool. Uh, looking for Wander, obviously, but you're looking for Jaron Duran, um, Brandon Marsh, Vidal Brujan, um, and then uh, what I was going to say earlier was specifically, there we go, I was about to mention, uh, two of the guys I'm looking for for the Mets are going to be Tyler McGill uh, and Patrick Mazika. McGill is an awesome, awesome pitcher. Uh, he was kind of came out of nowhere last season for the Mets, really clutch for us. Um, strengthened our lineup when everyone was hurt. Uh, so very excited to see what he can do in his sophomore year. Actually made his debut the same um, at the same age to the day as Jacob deGrom. I, I, I believe that's correct. 
so really cool um, fact about him. Not that he's uh, <laughs> anywhere near Jacob DeGrom. I think that's obvious, but uh, still hoping he can do well for us. I actually saw him. Uh, I said I was going to fly through this base. I'm really trying. Um, let's see. I'll finish that thought after these. These are going to be our inserts here. This looks like a home run challenge card. Well, there you go, Wander Franco. Uh, so that's our first Wander card. Probably not the main one you're looking for, but I guess pretty cool. Uh, we've got a gold foil uh, rookie, Eli Morgan. It's probably not too bad. We've had a uh, flashiest feat here, Ronald Acuna. Um, I actually don't mind this set. I'm a big uh, sneaker guy. Uh, I, I definitely appreciate them, and I've got a decent collection myself. Um, they, I, I feel like I just picked a lot of weird ones. I've seen, like, Soto's, his pants are over his shoes. You know, it's hard to see them. Um, Pete Alonso's, I think, are really cool. I think these are very flashy, obviously, but it's just some of the ones they chose are a little bit odd for this set. Um, and then Shane Bieber. So try to keep all the inserts a little bit together. Uh, start over here. So, like I said, it's going to be a longer video, um, but it is a jumbo box, and... I usually take even longer than I'm going to in this video, believe it or not, so doing my best. So we're looking for Corbin Burns as the indicator for Franco. Um, nice poo holes, the Dodgers. Probably not going to take the time to do all the flips, it's just the uh, base stuff. There's an Alonzo on that card with the uh, home run leaders, and get 38. Andrew Vaughn, Future Stars, really like that all-black uh, uniform. Jose Bray is in the same one. So looks like he's not going to be in this pack. We'll see what we've got. I couldn't tell which way this was going. It's upside down for sure. Uh, definitely looking for Wander on these. Not going to be this time, but it is a Ray. We've got Shane McClanahan, Future Stars. Uh, Rainbow Foil. Behind that... Got a Jazz Chisholm Jr. Uh, Generation Now. These inserts are pretty cool. Very shiny. Um, and then Josh Donaldson on the 87. Nothing crazy in the first two. Uh, definitely harder to hit in these than an update. Except for the uh, Series 1 print one is always longer or uh, larger. Uh, especially with Wander being in here. So uh, definitely looking for him in base set. Uh... Yeah, uh, parallels going to be pretty scarce in this. Stevenson Cup card almost looks uh, fake. I saw this one in a video earlier. It's it's a very odd picture. I don't know. It doesn't look too real. It looks Photoshop. There's Pete Alonso. I think Degrom is a landscape card too as well, which is kind of a shame. But I don't I don't mind too much. Uh, we'll go ahead and get one flip in here just so it's not all upside down. Just like a gray rookie. That's another nice one. Like so we're getting to the back here. We've got Austin Riley in front of a rainbow foil. Let's see what it is. Wilson Contreras on the rainbow foil. I'd like to get some rookies on these parallels here soon. Uh, looks like a Kirby Puckett, welcome to the show insert. And a uh, Rafi Devers on the 87. So nothing at all in these first few packs here. What we got in here? Anything? I don't know. There we go. There's Patty Mays, the walk-off master. If you guys didn't see him uh, last season, he hit. Uh, he had two straight, I want to say, or two walk-offs within like a week or two of each other with uh, basically his first at bats. There's Jake Cousins. I saw him. Peds knows him or played with him at a uh, UPenn, which is pretty awesome. So you definitely got some guys in new uniforms in this set. Proper uniforms, I should say. Scherzer is definitely not, but that'll change. Looks like we got a gold foil in this pack. Still looking for that Wander base. Uh, Cal Raleigh rookie. Uh, Lou Bob. Yeah, I watch a lot of videos. The pictures in the base set are a lot nicer than usual. It almost looks like a uh, they're trying to get a stadium club feel on some of these cards, which is kind of crazy. Um don't typically see that in flagships, so uh, pretty. I think it's a pretty cool thing, personally. Um, oh, so you got, is this a uh, manufactured? Nice, it's Juan Soto. Definitely not a bad one to get. These are the 
manufactured relics this year very interesting they went with something that looks like a card that could be a, a game used memorabilia card with the um, smaller circular window i think it's a little bit of a weird choice compared to some of the other ones that are typically uh coming out of this where it's it's very obviously uh you know manufactured this is not as obvious um at least if you're just you know first opening but not numbered still not a uh, bad card i'll try and stick that up here pretty cool uh, not worth a whole ton but Juan Soto is again not a bad one to get buster posey gold one of his uh last cards probably has got to be his last card right uh unless they somehow put him in series two and in inserts but uh gold foil could be a cool card uh steven strasberg welcome to the show and bryce harper on the 87 so got our first hit glad it was the um manufactured glad to get that out of the way now we can get into the the good stuff uh, i gotta cure off future stars i'm about to have a, a basal lanch over here i gotta get this out of the way i don't know if you guys could see that it was getting pretty tall get a lot of cards in these jumbos got a, a kyle mueller rookie i think he did uh he did okay last season i, I watched him a lot playing against the the mets not a lot you know i watched him a decent amount um this gill is gonna be a top one he had a really good start last year uh, for, is it Hill? Hill? Luis Hill? I don't know. Um, but decent pitcher for the Yankees. Hopefully he can uh, show off a little more this year. Aaron Ashby, rookie. Sorry to are upside down. I, I, I'm too lazy to do a flip right now. Um, <laughs> Brian De La Cruz, rookie for the Marlins. Saw him play again against my Mets. There's the Brandon Marsh. Didn't even see that. So a lot of hair, but uh, a lot of talent, so looking forward to seeing him. The Angels, the uh, new and improved Angels with all the pitching they acquired, uh, specifically from the Mets. Not too happy about that, but uh, what are you going to do, you know? Zach Thompson, another guy I saw in the uh, NL East. And we're getting down to the end pack. So, looks like we got a gold foil. Man, we're not getting any numbered or short prints or anything. These, uh first pack so let's see if we can uh, pick that up here second half of the box you got a pitcher it's gonna be andrew miller so not a rookie just a shame um welcome to the show don mattingly and 87 vlad so uh halfway through at this point if i went to the card shop and bought half a jumbo box and this is what i got i would be a little bit uh i'd probably be upset but uh luckily we have the rest of the box here so just be careful if you're buying packs from the shop you know so. Don't expect to get anything. Uh, it's not going to be update where you're getting, you know, at least something kind of cool out of every pack, um, which was my experience last year in update. I thought it was a very fun product to open. Lots of nice stuff coming out of there. Let's see if we get any uh, notable rookies that I can catch. There's the Trevor Rogers Cup card. Like I said, I don't think anyone wants to see base too, too much, especially if you've seen a bunch of other breaks already. Joey Votto is cool. Let's see, Bobby Dalbeck, Future Stars. Taylor Rogers. Hoy Park. Got some, see, look, this is a pretty interesting picture. You would never think that's a uh, flagship quality picture. So we've got, I think that's upside down. Got another rainbow foil here, which we love to see. Uh, and it's John Gray, which you don't love to see. But rainbow foil, I think the rainbow foils look very nice this year. The white border on the base card definitely helps the parallels pop. I'm not a huge fan of the base design, but it makes the parallels nice, so I guess I'll live with it. Um, behind that, we've got an Aaron Judge. I really like this insert set because it's got the uh, refractor shine on it. Very cool. And then a uh, Nolan Ryan 87, the Express. So. Four more packs, should be two hits in here. And then we've got our silver packs that allegedly have uh, two numbered cards in them. Uh, it's pretty rare to get that, especially in Series 1. So if that's the case, then I am going to be thrilled. Kevin Pillar with a uh, catch. I'm looking for, I, I don't know if I passed him already. I know Lars Newtbar has a uh, rookie in here, and I, I really want to get that. Not just for the name, but actually, uh, I know a lot of people didn't. There's the DeGrom 
Again, yeah, like I said, landscape card. Um, Reed Detmer's rookie. Rookie card, the rookie logo is so small. It's so hard to see on these. It's crazy. Um, what was I saying? The uh, Lars Newtbar, that's right. Um, a lot of people didn't know him until he, they got his rookie card in some of these breaks. Or at least they acted like they didn't know him. Um, but he did play for the Cardinals last year, and he actually, there's Gavin Sheets, that's another top rookie you're looking for, for the White Sox, not bad. Uh, and he's right before Mike Trout, I did know this that earlier. Um, Connor Wong rookie. Uh, but Lars Newport actually robbed Pete Alonso of a three-run home run in one of their games uh, towards the end of the season, I think it was in September. Uh, we were pretty much done, and that uh, kind of sealed the deal for our playoff chances uh, going out the window. So thanks a lot, Lars, going to hopefully burn some of your rookie cards here so let's see oh that's nice there we go 1987 wander franco rookie card uh wander franco wander franco everyone says it different so two wanders so far and neither of them are the base uh, not really what i was expecting but i will take it for sure so really nice 87 to get there uh i know tyler mcgill has one like that i'd like to get um, oh, there we go for the PC. Generation Now, Pete Alonzo. Really nice card. I don't know if you can get parallels of these. I know you can get autos of them, but I'm not sure about numbered parallels. Uh, we'll have to see. Um, let's see, on the back, we have a gold Corey Kluber. Let's see, this card was upside down, so it's probably a numbered, maybe a gold. Let's see if we can get a uh, nice rookie on this one. Yeah, so definitely a gold. It is, is that landscape, maybe? Yep. And not a rookie. It is the Miami Marlins team card. Let's see who we got up there. Got a, a Jazz. Got uh, no one else I can identify, so that's cool. Uh, I was hoping, like, Jesus Sanchez or something would be on there, but I uh, don't see him. I guess that's probably Jorge Alfaro with uh, all that hair. I don't know. I'm kind of guessing here. I don't know the Marlins too well. Let's see. We got three packs left. Finish the stack and then get into the last two. Still got two hits. We have a relic card and an autograph. So it looks like we have a die cut in here. Not sure if that means we'll have a hit or not. Starling Marte, definitely not in the right uniform. Let's go nuts. Future star is Chisholm. And his, uh, I think those are the City Connect uniforms. I think the Marlins got some. The Mets did not. Which is a shame. But we did get the black jerseys last season. So I guess that was a bit of a step up. Tampa Bay Rays card. Let's see. Lots of the league leaders cards in this set. Back to that. Didn't have a lot of that in Series 1. Or, uh, sorry, Update Series last year. Corbin Burns, Wander Franco. There we go. There's our base rookie. Uh, pretty much guaranteed in jumbos. I opened probably... 15 to 20 jumbo boxes between every series last year and every box had a, a complete set within it so not too worried about getting him in one of these let's so put that one off to the side let's leave it after this i don't think the base are going to be worth too much um, just because they printed so much but definitely going to top sleeve it top load it all right so probably can oh is that a redemption we got a redemption guys okay I think we just go for it. I'm not going to save this. We already have the uh, silver pack. So uh, we'll go from the back. We've got a Mark McGuire. Uh, this is our die cut. <laughs> Another Mark McGuire. Interesting. I was hoping that was a DeGrom or a Babe Ruth. I know those are both die cuts in the set. Um, Rainbow Foil. Oh, Tampa Bay Rays. Nice. Is Franco on there? I'm not sure. Someone tell me. I'm not 100% sure what he looks like. Uh, Without a hat on. All right, guys. Redemption time. Let's see what we got. Nineteen eighty-seven. So it's on card. Is it going to be a parallel? It is not. Nineteen eighty-seven. Autograph card. Ooh. Nice. So this is not a rookie, but it is a second year. On card auto, Jared Kellenick. I don't have a Kellenick, don't have any uh, unfulfilled redemptions of Kellenick. First Kellenick auto. Nice, that is awesome. Love to see that. Uh, I don't think anyone will mind me covering up the Soto uh, manufactured relic. Okay, so good box, good box. Uh, autos are definitely not 
guaranteed to be good, very far from guaranteed to be good. Um, but you can get lucky, and that is absolutely lucky. See, really nice picture of Juan Soto there. You can, it's like every other picture is a nice action shot. It's crazy. Another Pujols. Uh, there's our guy Alfaro. I was just talking about him. So pretty much just going to... I think I saw Mazika. Yep. Uh, see if we get another Franco. If not, what is that? <laughs> Jonah Heim. Okay. Uh, just keep an eye out for Franco's and other than that, just kind of... Zoom to the back here. It looks like we have a relic here, and there we go. Perfect. Okay. So I saw the border, and it was kind of gray, kind of silver. It's supposed to be the black, which I think is going to be the 199. Um, but again, the 87 wood makes it look silver gray. Uh, so we have a Cowerpin Jr. 87 insert. Have a six four stars Corey Seager Trey Turner. Uh, I don't think I've seen that insert yet. It's interesting. Maybe get a nice Mets one with Lindor on that. Um. <laughs> okay, well, it's a John Gray box. And... We've got Yankee. Is that Hideki Matsui? Oh my goodness. They got Hideki Matsui in the Relic set. That's crazy. I love Matsui. He was an awesome player. I used to play with him on a MLB The Show 2006 on the PSP. I specifically remember using him on the Yankees with like a Jason Giambi, Jorge Posada, that whole team. So really cool gray swatch there, numbered to 199. Uh, interesting. Definitely would not have expected to get that. So uh, hits-wise, not a bad box. Numbered relic. Okay, this is. I'm really trying not to hurt this card, but it's not going to stay there. We'll cover up one of the Francos. Um, yeah, Soto commemorative patch. Matsui, 299 uh, relic card. And this redemption for the Kellenic auto. That is fantastic, hits wise. Um, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Good thing I didn't rip the other box on camera because this one is turning out to be very nice. There's the Otani. Again, just maybe looking out for another Franco, but doesn't seem super likely. Jared Kellenic, Future Stars. Wow, can't believe we pulled a Kellenic auto. That is awesome. His first non-rookie auto, I think. It's got to be. I mean, there's no other products out. Stroman, we do have a... What is that? Kevin Pilar for the Mets. That's going to be an advanced stats card. Oh, I didn't even... Okay, <laughs> Lars Newbar. There we go. Last uh, last base card we got him. So happy about that. We got this Kevin Pilar advanced stats climbing the wall. Really cool. Really cool. I like that a lot. Uh, we'll finish this out. Ryan Weathers, uh, Jeter. Welcome to the show. And Roberto Clemente, eighty-seven. So guys. Here comes, the, we already had a fun part with the Kellenic, but now comes the really fun part. We have two thick cards in our silver packs. To me, that means two numbered cards, possibly an autograph. We'll see. So we've got a, got to move some stuff here real quick. Connor Wong rookie. Looks like we have a green in here. How oh, could you imagine a green Wander Franco rookie out of here? Color match. Eddie Murray, Greg Maddox, and the Marlins. It's going to be an Edward Cabrera rookie. So another guy I've definitely seen uh, playing my Mets. Pitch a little bit. Uh, he's okay. We'll see how he does, but that's numbered to 99. So uh, it's a rookie, numbered rookie, going to sleep in top of that, but uh, probably not the best you can get. Maybe we can do a little better in this one. So this one. Oh man, guys, I think we got an auto. It's backwards. Oh, what a box. What a box. Okay, so Shane Bieber. Devers. Mike Trout. There we go. Nice. And. Oh, okay. 
Cardinals. A Jack Flaherty. Wow, Jack Flaherty Silver Pack 1987 autograph. Put that trout down, and these are these are numbered very uh, different. Oh, that's an orange. Three out of 25. I don't know if you guys can see that. Three out of 25. Wow, guys. What a box. So I don't know if you guys can tell. This is the orange, and it looks a shade darker maybe than the base, um, but the gold is even closer, even harder to tell. So uh, just be aware of that, but wow, wow, wow. Okay. Thank God I opened this one because the other box is about to be awful. So, <laughs> uh, I, I'll do a little recap, but uh, yeah. Wow. Jack Flaherty to 25, Silver Pack Auto. Got the Cabrera Rookie to 99. Uh, down here, Kevin Pollard advanced stats to 300. We got the 87 Wander Rookie. Got... Ooh, is everyone going to fall? That's okay. Uh, Hideki Matsui, Relic to 199. Pretty cool. Hit of the box, in my opinion. 87 on card redemption, Jared Kellenick autograph, and then the soda. So, let me know what you guys think. I thought that was an incredible box. Uh, I I don't even want to open the other one. It's going to be so bad, but I'll, uh, I'll let you guys know what I get on uh, Instagram if you want to follow me. I'll link that in the description. So, uh, really fun product. Really glad I got the jumbo. Uh, I'm going to take care of all this, and uh, you guys let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.